Corey McKenna versus uh, Granger, Miranda Granger, I think. That was a good fight. That's just grappling. Uh, they're making transitions. It was a good fight. Uh, just the ending surprised me because Granger was on the bottom, but she had the hit choke, like the bulldog choke on uh, McKenna there. And I thought she was going to do a reverse or something. And then McKenna, out of nowhere, just dug in with her shoulder and did the Von Flu choke and completely submitted Granger. She, I think she was out for a little bit. She tapped, they didn't see it, and then she had to tap again. And then she was out for a second, and then they stopped the fight. Yeah, I don't know what... To, just the ending surprised me. That's it. I'm a big fan of McKenna. I've seen her fight before, and can't wait to see her fight again. I'm just pleasantly surprised, because I always love... Uh, Unconventional, unorthodox choke, submission, Von Flu choke. I love that choke so much. It's just underrated. And McKenna just showed that first Von Flu choke in UFC women's history. What? I knew it. I knew it was the first one. McKenna, great job. Uh, yeah, I don't think I ever seen a woman do a Von Flu choke in the UFC. Great job, Corey McKenna. Now I'm deeply impressed. Yeah, Von Fluchok, completely underrated. More people should do it. It's 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 sneaky. It's a very sneaky choke, yo. And yeah, it's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant.